When trying to make big gains in crypto, you need to figure out which ecosystems are going to produce the good ecosystem tokens that will eventually run super hard when liquidity gets there. Today in this video, I'm going to be talking about five ecosystems that I think are going to do very well this bull run. Let's hop straight into it. The first one is ICP Internet Computer. We know the ICP has been doing very well this past month, and I think it's going to do very well this bull run. A lot of people don't understand um, that the Internet Computer ecosystem was never supposed to be so undervalued as we look at the all-time chart it's been down only really since recently and when people you know look from outside and they look at the all-time chart they kind of get scared but here's the, the reality of it this is a real project backed by people who are actually building now yes the ecosystem's pretty weak right now but there's a substantial amount of building that's going on and there are a lot of cool projects that are going to be coming out in the internet computer ecosystem and in my personal opinion you know, I'm inv heavily involved with ICP and everything, and I think ICP will win, not because of the main reasons why a lot of people think ICP will win. I think ICP's really, I think the ICP DeFi ecosystem slash Bitfinity, whatever you want to call it, you know, Bitfinity is its own separate blockchain. It's an L2 for Bitcoin, but it's actually built on a computer. I think Bitfinity is what's going to spearhead and eventually lead the IC, IC to victory. That's just my personal opinion. I think there's a lot of great projects overall in the ecosystem, but I think I'm most bullish on Bitfinity and what's going on over there. Um, I think there's a ton of upside in this ecosystem. Once again, ICP last cycle in 2021 didn't really even have an ecosystem and still to this day, a lot of the ecosystem's pretty new, pretty fragile. Um, but the projects are getting a lot better. That's a good thing. There's a lot of upside. And when we're talking about trying to make you know money in crypto, we're looking for upside. We're looking for, hey, what's on the come up? And the ICP ecosystem's on the come up. You know, If everything had already been super well thought out and everything was pretty good, then there wouldn't be as much um, upside. But by what I mean by you know thought out and everything being good is the ecosystem right now in ICP is just very raw and there's a lot of building going on. There's a lot of good things that will happen and there's a lot of good things that are happening currently, but I think there's going to be a substantial amount of ecosystem growth we're going to see over this past next year or so. And I think this is going to be a really underrated player. And with the release of Bitfinity, I'm super, super fucking bullish. Okay. Now the next ecosystem is near protocol. Once again, kind of in a similar position as the IC where it's like it had a very, it was, you know, near protocol is very new has a pretty had a pretty weak ecosystem but the ecosystem is getting a lot better um we see projects like jump DeFi, nico extremely extremely strong team and also also ref finance is a really good project once again kind of like icp near protocol is where the growth is going to be i think you know out of all these projects we're going to be talking about if you're looking for pure upside you know i think near and internet computer are probably going to have the most upside considering they are you know newer and have more of a raw ecosystem so if you're looking to get in very early it's going to be these two you know extremely bullish on near i think they're doing a lot of great things there and once again market caps only at 26 icps at 16 i think they're both going to go a lot higher in their you know substantial rankings and i think they're, it's going to shock a lot of people both of these projects kind of got written off those last bull market people were fading it but there's active builders and there's, there's a real community behind both projects the next ecosystem, Solana. Once again, people are, you know, Solana has been very hot. It's done, you know, a, uh, it did already a 6X, you know, since it was at 20 bucks in October. Once again, I believe Solana has substantial amounts of upside. I think a lot of people, of course, you know, I don't think it has the same upside as Near and ICP right now, considering it's run so hard. But I think there's going to be a ton of amazing plays that are going to come out of the Solar ecosystem. Do not fade. I just would not fade the Soul ecosystem. There's a lot of great building, a lot of good stuff. Soul DeFi, I think it's going to absolutely run. Next ecosystem is Avalanche. Kind of similar to Soul. I'm extremely bullish on Avalanche DeFi. I think we're going to see, you know, last year or last cycle, I meant, you know, we saw Time Wonderland, the big Ponzi that made a lot of people money, ended up crashing because, you know, it's a Ponzi scheme, but it did end up making a lot of people money right now. Avalanche only has a ninth biggest market cap. I could easily see this thing flipping Cardano. I think there's going to be a ton of great stuff that come out of Avalanche DeFi. Extremely bullish. If you guys haven't been able to tell right now, what I'm most bullish on in crypto is really, as of right now, this is not like my long-term thesis. This is my thesis for the next cycle. I'm really bullish on things that make people money. DeFi, lending, borrowing protocols, Ponzi's, Ponzi-nomics, stuff like that. 
and I'm really bullish on like meme coins. You know, I think that's what the product, the two sectors in crypto that I think are always going to do well is DeFi and meme coins, as long as it doesn't get shut down by the government, of course. But, you know, DeFi makes a lot of people money and a lot of people can make money on meme coins and meme coins are fun. So those are the two sectors that I think are always going to do well and that you can always bet on to produce, you know, gains. Next is Arbitrum. I think Arbitrum is extremely underrated. I think it's going to low key. I could see Arbitrum flipping Polygon. Um, I think it's very possible. I think they have a very strong team. I think once again, it's although Arbitrum has had the biggest TVL in Ethereum, they didn't launch their token until 2023. And I think the ecosystem around Arbitrum is definitely going to have a massive, massive come up. And there's going to be a lot of gems overall. But all five of these projects, once again, I'm extremely bullish on. And, you know, I think when you're getting in the crypto, you got to understand how the liquidity flows. So I've said this before, but once again, Bitcoin pumps, then the major or altcoins pumps, and then the altcoins that are part of the ecosystem pump. So it would be like, let's just say Solana pumps or Bitcoin pumps, then the liquidity flows to Solana, and then it flows to the Solana ecosystem tokens like Bonk and JTO. So I think that's really, you know, what's going on here. And of course, recently, I just want to talk about this real quick. You know, Larry Fink, for all you guys who aren't in the U.S., BlackRock is the largest asset manager in the entire world, and they own 11% of the S&P 500. Basically, every major company in the United States is owned by BlackRock. And the CEO of BlackRock likes crypto and wants tokenization. And recently, we saw the spot Bitcoin ETF get approved. And a spot Ethereum ETF is going to come, and then it leaves the door open for a spot a Solana Ethereum a spot Solana ETF. Sorry, guys. I'm very, very tired when making this video. But, you know, I think things in crypto are looking more bullish than ever. I think this is the most bullish moment we've ever seen in crypto because it now legitimizes our industry to the big money, the big money on institutions on Wall Street. It gave them a green light. And I think this is a the most because at the end of the day, it's like, you know, look, having liquidity come to crypto is cool, but if the U.S. government and Wall Street doesn't like it, it's going to make things a lot tougher. But now that the biggest dog on Wall Street, Larry Fink and BlackRock, these guys run the game. Once again, they own fucking every company. Now they're pro crypto. They're pro pumping our bags. Do you understand how high we're going to fucking go? I think a lot of people don't understand. This is going to be the biggest cycle ever. They print money every single day. Crypto is going to go to the fucking moon. And what you have to understand is that people outside of this ecosystem don't even give a shit about crypto yet. They're not going to give a shit till we hit 100K. And some of these people might not ever give a shit. We're going to cross 100K Bitcoin. And then I think everyone's going to start to care. If you're watching this video right now, just understand that you are early. Okay. In the short term, there might be some volatility. You might get in and lose some money, blah, blah, blah. But just understand you are fucking early. If you're watching this, we are going to go much higher. There are going to be plenty, plenty of 10x, 20x, 50x, 100x plays along these next two years. Okay? I just hope you understand that you're in the right spot if you're watching this video. You just need to take action and not be a dumbass. Okay? Don't fuck around. Don't get nervous. Don't, you know, catch on to FOMO, blah, 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 blah. You know, some FOMO is fine. I think it's okay to swing trade if you know what you're doing. Make sure you're doing your due diligence. Make sure you're doing your homework. Make sure you know what you're doing. But there's going to be a lot of money made. And the point of this video is really, you know, if you're just first coming to crypto, these are five ecosystems that I think, you know, have the most upside. You know, I think you can't go wrong with any of these ecosystems, really. And I'm extremely bullish on the future of crypto. You know, that's why I'm fucking here. That's why I make a video every single day. At the end of the day, I don't think I'd be able to make a video every single day if I didn't really love this shit, you know. So that's basically it. I want everyone to win. Okay. The truth is not everyone's going to win though. The people who are watching this video maybe a year and a half from now, they could end up losing money as exit liquidity. But if you're watching now at the beginning of 2024, you should end up winning. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, little comment. Go follow me on X. I was a little tired today, but that's all we got. We'll be back with another video tomorrow. Thank you for watching.